Welcome everyone. Uh, this is the follow-up podcast to, to our Montauk trip that took place about a week, week and a half ago. And we wanted to share with you some of the artifacts that we were fortunate enough to obtain and also try and explain the significance we think they have. Um, but let's start by framing things. Uh, much like the Titanic uh, exhibitions that travel around the country with their artifacts, uh, similar to the, uh, the teacup that the captain drank out of before they hit the berg, uh, or even the plate that the unsinkable Molly Brown ate off of on that fateful night. It's more like a dish, isn't it? And we're, and we're going to be talking about radar dishes, so there's a nice little segue into dishes. So uh, let's start with the minor artifacts. Um, I was lucky enough to uh, bump into two uh, locking mechanisms on the floor of the tower. And uh, I, I selected them because they were small enough to fit in my pocket. I didn't want to take piping or tubes or anything too cumbersome. I was nervous the whole time about being caught. You know, how do you explain, you know, rummaging around in an old, you know, military base, uh, being bailed out of jail? Just, just not a good thing. So uh, I was nervous the whole time and also creeped out, freaked out by the place. So these two things fit in my pockets. After the fact, I realized maybe they had some significance. Uh, you know, locks, uh, unlocking memories, uh, so I realized it, it was just perfect timing and uh, serendipity. I did wrap one up in plastic just because I wanted to carry it around in my pocket. Uh, hopefully the memories would kind of, you know, seep into me. And I wrapped, uh, wrapped this up and it kind of looks creepy actually now. Um, but the other one is heavily corroded, so we're going to do something else with that. Uh, the first night, I, I put this in my pajama pocket, and I wanted to sleep with it. And uh, even while watching TV and drinking wine, I, I was triggered. And whether it was the lock or not, it wasn't pretty. So I'm not going to be playing with this for a while. Uh, but the, the major find uh, is the dish fragment. Originally, this was one piece, and we just tore it apart uh, just for ease of uh, you know, eking under the, the fence there. Uh, this is a fragment of this dish here, and uh, I might add that the water uh, tower has been stripped down. Uh, you might have, if you've watched the, uh, the video, uh, it looks completely different. So this, this part here is gone. I don't know what happened to it, if it was, uh, if it was weather, or, or maybe somebody came in and stripped it down. Uh, so these fragments are part of this dish, and all of the frequencies that were beamed through the dish out to the public, uh, to the individuals that were experimented on. Uh, this metal is encoded with those frequencies. It's fascinating uh, to think about, uh, but also dangerous because, uh, you know, we don't know what astral smoke is going to be seeping out of this. Uh, it could be specific to individuals that have resonance with it. Uh, and also on a physical level, this is corroded. You look at it the wrong way, you're going to cut yourself. So uh, it's dangerous all around. So we've got some brawn mergers here to help us out. And uh, what I wanted to do, well, actually before that, I wanted to just give my own two cents on, uh, there was a, um, at the beginning of the original podcast, there was a cab driver that explained uh, to us a couple of years ago in Montauk, the dish was actually moving, this dish rather, was moving on its own. Uh, the military came in, I'm not going to go over that again, but the dish was moving by itself and Many folks came in to corroborate that uh, no one could have moved it. So it's my opinion that the folks in Antarctica, uh, Station 211, uh, they are controlling the tower right now. And, um, well, time will tell. But Dino Stewart does uh, scans and uh, the Kuiper's belt is connected to Station 211. So we'll see. But I also wanted to have uh, my fellow explorer explain how she put two and two together because the first day we ran into this thing we didn't we just thought it was a mess detritus and uh, it, this is her find I, I did not you know put it together at all it was part of the dish so I'd like to have her explain uh, what led to that uh, realization okay. When you look at this stuff, it just looks like a bunch of junk. And so much of the stuff around the tower just looked like trash. There were so many 
empty spray paint cans, broken bottles, just litter. And I don't know, I would, we were walking over stuff that looked like this, and I was just thinking, like, what a mess. The kids, they didn't clean up after themselves. These circles here, they look exactly like the same diameter as a spray paint can, so I thought that maybe it was related. That was my first guess. I just thought it was trash. But um, after we had actually climbed up as far as we could go with the tower, um, and we were ready to leave, I was looking up at the dish, and I was like, oh my gosh, the thing's falling apart. It could just fall apart any day now. And then I took another look, and I was like, wait a minute. Those circles look really familiar. And I said to my partner in exploration, you know that crap that we were stepping over? I think it's part of the dish. And then we were like, oh my gosh, we're going to go find that again. And we did, and this is what we have. And um, danger falling objects. It, it would be a real danger, that's for sure. Danger to even handle it. So lucky find indeed. And uh, just to finish things off, I wanted to uh, to say that we're going to donate uh, a portion of this to uh, Aunt Janae and Uncle Stewart at Expansions. Uh, so we're going to be either mailing or delivering this in person uh, to them. And um, this will go in there. Uh, I think it's located in their basement. Uh, they do have an artifact room there. I think it might be next to Stuart's gym. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but this will be in addition to their artifact room. I spoke to Stuart, and he's uh, he's thrilled to have a piece of the dish. And um, you know, we came back in one piece. Uh, being around those vibrations, uh, a lot of you, you folks might think that you know why would anyone want to go there? Uh, but we were drawn there. And, uh, you know, the universe has its plan, so, uh, and we're not schizos yet, so we'll see what happens, but we'll let you know if uh, things get freaky. And uh, thanks for tuning in.